Hello and welcome to another numbers edition of Apple a Day. In this episode, I'm continuing my series on date and time functions. Today I'm covering network days. This function is pretty basic, so this shouldn't take too long. So let's jump right in. So the network days function returns the number of work days, Monday through Friday, between two dates. Saturdays and Sundays are ignored and not included in the count. So just switching over to my calendar, if the date range is from January 14th to January 19th, network days should return five days because the 14th is not counted since it's a Sunday. So we're only going to get a count for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, which of course is five days. And we can confirm that pretty quickly. Back in numbers, I've already got some examples set up. And the first example is the very date range that we just looked at, January 14th to January 19th. So I'll pick a cell underneath and type in the equal sign to bring up the formula editor. Then I'll type in the function name, network days, and press return. And it gives me three parameters the start date, the end date, and something called exclude dates. We'll cover that in the next example. Since the start date is already highlighted, I'll click on January 14th, select the end date, and click on January 19th. I'll press return to close the formula editor, and I get five days, which is exactly what we predicted. So that's pretty straightforward. So let's try another example. In example two, we have the entire month of January. Rather than typing the formula again, I'll simply copy the formula we already created and paste it into the same row under example two. I'll select it, press Command C to copy, click on the new cell and press Command V to paste. And it is calculated 23 days for the month of January. Let's go back to the calendar to confirm it. This is pretty easy to add up since January 1st is a Monday. So we've got five, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23. So that makes sense, but what about holidays? What if we don't want to count January 1st since it's New Year's Day? Well, that's what that third parameter was for. So I'll go back to this formula and double click on it to bring up the formula editor. So we can see the third parameter. It says exclude dates, and it does pretty much exactly what it says. It will ignore whatever dates are provided and not include them in the count. I've already got six US holidays set up right over here. I'm gonna click on exclude dates and select the first holiday that I have, January 1st, and just grab the handle and drag it down to select the rest of them. If I press return to close the formula editor, the value changes from 23 to 22 days because January 1st is not counted since it's part of these excluded dates over here. Okay, moving on to the third and last example, I have the entire year of 2024, January 1st to December 31st. So let's go and select the formula from the first example, and we'll copy that and paste that in to example three. And that gives us a total of 262 working days for 2024. And that's not excluding any holidays unless those holidays were to fall on a Saturday or Sunday. So if none of these dates are on a weekend, if we exclude them, this total of 262 should be six days less and drop down to 256. So let's edit the formula and select exclude dates. And this time I'm gonna do it a little bit differently. There's another way you can select a range. I'm just gonna click, and if I keep my mouse held down, I'm gonna drag, and that will select the entire range of dates. I'll press return to close the formula editor, and there you have it, 256 days. So in 2024, you have 256 work days to look forward to if you live in the US. So that's all there is for network days. It's a very handy formula when you need to know the number of work days between two dates. This might be used for something like scheduling or even for uh, payroll. That's it for today. Thanks as always for watching. I'm John Martins. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode of Apple A Day.